What's up guys, today we're gonna talk about Node.js file system module. So we will talk about how to read data from a file, how to write data to a file, how to append data to a file, and we will also talk about how to rename and delete a file. So let's first talk about how to read data from a file. So here we are first requiring the FS module, which is the core module in Node.js. Now one important thing to note about FS module is it have two types of functions for all the operations. So it have a synchronous version and it also have an asynchronous version. So here we are reading the contents of test.txt using read file sync function which will read the contents of test.txt synchronously. What that means is it will block the JavaScript execution until unless it reads the content from the file system for this file. So this line will not be executed until unless it reads the content of test.txt from the file system. So if we execute this file now it should print uh, these 10 lines on the console. So here we are reading the content of this file and then we are printing it on the console. So let's just execute this file. So node sync.js and so rather than printing uh, the actual contents of the file it prints a buffer to the console and that's because we haven't specified the encoding of the file while reading the content of the file so let's just do that we can do that by specifying the second parameter to read file sync function now the second parameter to the read file sync function can be an object or it can be a string and if it's a string it means uh, we have spec we are specifying the encoding for that file so let's just uncomment this line and comment this line so now we are specifying the encoding for that file uh, it's utf8 and in this case it should print the con actual content of the file to the console rather than printing the buffer so let's just execute this file now clear and node sync.js now in this time it prints the actual content of the file on the console so that's how we can read the content of the file synchronously now in this case we are not doing any error handling suppose we try to read the content of a file that does not exist it will throw a file not found error and since we are not handling that error our application will crash so suppose uh, we try to read the content of a file test1.txt now this file does not exist and if we try to execute the file now we will get an error no such file or directory so let's handle this error using a try catch block so here in the error handling file we have just put a try catch block around uh, read file sync uh, operation so if we execute this error handling it will just do the same thing just we are uh, handling the error that may occur while reading the file so let's execute this file so if we try to read a file that does not exist now, it should print error occurred while reading data. And then this it will print this line, which will be undefined because uh, there is no such file test1.txt and, and uh, data will have the initial value, which is undefined. So let's just execute this file. So clear it out and node error handling.js so we got this error occurred while reading data no such file or directory test1.txt and then we get undefined printed because of this statement so in this case our application does not crash because we just handling this uh, error by just printing out that error now again you can specify the encoding and you should specify the encoding while reading the data so if we uh, just comment this uh, line and uncomment this line it will do the same thing so if we execute this now it should print the content of test1.txt which is this file so it should print the content of this file on the console it's just that we have put this code into a try catch block so let's just execute this file clear and node error handling it works the same way just we have put the error try catch blocks to handle the error that may occur while reading the data now this is how we can read the data from the file synchronously 
what if we want to read the data asynchronously so here we have another function read file only that allows us to read the content of a file asynchronously so rather than reading the content of test.txt in this case we are reading the content from users.json and this is asynchronous so rather than using read file sync we are using the read file function which takes a callback as the second parameter so if any error happens while reading the data it will print out that error otherwise it will print out the actual content of that file so here we have that users.json file so it is actually a 10,000 records of random users from the random user API so we are reading uh, this file and printing the content of that file on the console so let's execute this file but we are doing it uh, asynchronously so if you have any line of code synchronous code here so if I write anything here it will be printed it will execute uh, before we print out the actual content of that file so that's the difference between synchronous and asynchronous reading the content of the file so let's just execute this file so clear it out node and it's async.js so rather than printing again it prints out the buffer so we should specify the content uh, encoding of that file so let's just comment this line of code and uncomment this code where we specify the encoding for the file so the second parameter to read file uh, we are specifying utf8 as the encoding for that file and now let's execute this file so rather than printing the buffer this time it will print it uh, the actual content of the file so node async.js so it prints out all the content of that file which is having a lot of information so this is how we can read data from a file synchronously and asynchronously and one important thing to remember is you should always specify uh, the encoding of the file you are reading otherwise you will get the raw buffer returned so in the next one we will talk about how to write data uh, to a file